Good morning, creator. How are we doing today? Pretty good, I hope. Hey, uh, today we are going to wash off this Sylvie chalkboard and recreate it. I know, I love this design, but <laughs> I'm going to wash it off. So let me introduce myself. I'm Robin Schmidt with Odessa Rose Creates. I am an independent chalk couture designer, which means I'm going to share with you the love of my business and my hobby and my passion all together chalking chalking is using chalk tours reusable silk screen transfers and creating designs on just about any uh, smooth flat surface um, including fabrics and um, glassware ceramic ware we can use our inks on and all the other products we pretty much used our chalk paste on so let's get started i'm gonna click that show my website it never wants to do it i always have to stand here and pound my camera forever crazy thing i don't understand this why it does that oh it's there oh sorry okay um so yeah this is the sylvie board sylvie boards come in different sizes and they have been reduced in price starting uh, just uh, last week so I want to go over those prices. This is the um, about an 18 by 18 inch square. This was $44.99 retail. Now it's $34.99. We also have them in a 9 by 12 in the black board with white frame or white board with black frame. They were $24.99 and now they're $19.99. And then we have a 12 by 18 blackboard with white frame was $39.99, now $29.99. And then we have even a bigger one, 18 by 24 blackboard with this nice wide frame, a Sylvie. And they were $49.99 and now they are $39.99. So they have reduced, and depending on the size, from $5 to $10 less. And these are great. So this was a design I made last year. And one of the things that Chalk Couture started out doing was um, having chalkboards that we can reuse uh, to recreate on for the different seasons or themes that you may want to run uh, on your board for your home. Um, so this is chalk paste. Once it dries, as you can see, it doesn't come off on your hands like regular chalk and uh, it's washable. It's gonna come off when I apply some water to it and scrape it off with our scraper. So I'm gonna wash off this design. This was a great design. Had this cute little watermelon I did on there and the florals. Um, and then I added this little thing of ribbons around it. It's got taped on. I'm gonna slide that off, I think. There we go. And I did a little chalking on the, even these tags that said uh, Sweet Summer. I'm going to take all this off. I'm going to wash all this off. And we're going to recreate. And today I'm going to recreate, I think I'm going to use about four different transfers. A couple of them are retired. One is our current club transfer if you are in Club Couture. And the other one is a current transfer, I believe. So, before we get started, I had promised that I was going to talk about my book boxes I did. I did not do these on a live. I was just um, creating um, just me, myself, and I. And I used these uh, paper mache boxes. And I had gotten these from Daris, which is a confusing story in itself. I believe they sold out to Michael's. Because when you go to the website, it goes to Michael's. However, I was just Googling um, paper mache books. And Dari showed up through Amazon. And they are on Amazon. And then Michael's has a different size and a different, little bit different style of a box on their website. But when I got them, Dari's had their own website. And I was buying wholesale from them. So... I don't know what the story is, but anyway, they're paper mache. I painted them. I did not paint the inside there. 
that's what it looks like before and um, just create it on them I make these cute little boxes I made them in the colors that go in my TV room and I'm planning on stock stacking them or displaying them on my mantle in my room I have two more left to do I think I'm gonna do them like in a black and a brown because sometimes I theme out my mantle in a very neutral tones um, creams and grays and browns so I probably do either like a gray and a black or a black and a brown or a gray and I don't know what I'm gonna do but um, the other two I'm gonna do on those but I haven't done them yet but anyway you can see where I kind of did some um, aging on the paper with paint this is all done with paint and chalking patterns on them so those are my boxes Okay, so let's see who's joining today. We'll sprint this down with some water. Yes, I'm gonna wash off this design and recreate. So the idea with chalking is that with our batik boards or our um, gallery boards, our gallery boards are um, a porcelain board that is magnetic and they're higher priced because of all the beautiful features of, a, of those boards. These boutique boards are less expensive, but still are reusable. And I'm gonna show you how to reuse them. Let me see who's joining me today. Love your jacket. Oh, thanks. This is a jacket I did a long time ago. Probably like the first year I was a designer. It's got the, when you become a designer, you get some chalk tour transfers. I think I've got the logo on the back, I think. If I remember right. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I've done several jackets. I never can remember what I've done to them all, but there it is. Okay. Oh, goodness. Anyway, let's see who's on. Anne Marie, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Donna. I love how you made your jacket. Thanks. Talisa. Hello, Robin. Hello. Hi, Vicki and Nancy. Adorable. I love your jacket too. Yes, uh, the jacket I wore yesterday, the, um, what, what do you want to call that color? It's kind of a plum, pastel plum color. Is that what you call that? Uh, that was really, it had almost like a tone on tone silk screening. I did some of the boho, uh, boho floral bohos on the, uh, boho floral, is that what it's called? On the shoulder and down in here, I can't remember. And then I think I had the logo on the back. And then I have like a teal blue one I've done. I've done several. I just get them like at Costco, the jackets or at Walmart or somewhere. So far you have, I have escaped the virus. Today I slept again last night uh, in the guest room, but today I'm washing all the sheets and John says he feels like himself again, so. Hopefully I have escaped, escaped it again. So here we are, I've watered this down. I'm gonna scrape all this off, because I wanna show you how you can reuse our boards. If you don't wanna scrape off your design, then you need just need to buy another board. But that's just more boards that you have to put in storage for different seasons. So just recreate on, create on them. Chances are you're gonna find a new uh, transfer that you wanna use anyway, so. You can get a lot of this uh, scraped up, picked up, and then we'll clean it really well. redesigning on these boutique boards for myself otherwise most of my designs I usually do on a painted surface and I seal them with wax paste and uh, sell them or display them in my home but they're not like things I scrape all the paste off of them we do except for these boards okay so we got all this 
fine paint scrapes, right? Paint powder, chalk, that's not paint, it's chalk, chalk powder, really. So we're gonna pick this up. I'm just gonna use a wet wipe and get it, get it going here. So how many of you guys like to redo boards? Or do you, are you, or are you too sorry to clean them up and, cause you don't wanna ruin them or get rid of them, I guess. Cause you think you worked so hard at it. But it's not hard. You can always recreate it if you really want to. Most of the crumbs picked up. I'm gonna scrape a little bit more. I missed some spots. Spray it again. I'll get this cleaned up. chalk paste out of the edge of the frame. This board I set up on my mantle last summer. I did this summer theme. I can't even remember what I, I'll have to go back and look at my pictures, what I had set in with this. I think I had about three different boards. I can't remember what the other ones, oh, one was lemon. I might have already washed that off. They were all the black boards with the white frames and they were summery. I remember that and they had tags on them. Okay, you can see how well that's cleaning up. Clean off my scraper. And then I'm gonna take the board eraser which are these guys? Let me see if I can get a new package. I'm always going through board erasers. Board erasers, which I mainly use to clean my transfers with because I don't clean off that many boards. But these work great for removing any leftover residue or ghosting images you may have. So just uh, get it nice and wet, and then just wipe it with this. Like I said, it'll pick up any residue. And it's just like new. The magic of chalk couture. to grab a towel and dry this off. So I'm pulling out a retired transfer. I don't know the name of it, but it's the big, large watering can. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the bunny from Cottontail Farms in front of it. We're gonna use some of the little birds from this month's Club Couture. And I'm gonna put some flowers on top of the watering can. Those are, are from a retired transfer. So, I love uh, going back through my old transfers and pulling them out and recreating a different look with them. Okay, so we have our new, our new Sylvie board now. I'm gonna make sure my hangers are on the top. This one has double hanger. So I'm just gonna make sure those are on the top. Um, Another challenge I'm putting myself today is actually, I'm, it's a challenge for me because I rarely do this, just all white chalk paste, you know? So I'm gonna do that just in white to show that you can create just with one color of chalk paste. I'm trying to find all my comments. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, I thought those were real flowers. Oh, on the chalkboard? No, those were chalk paste. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? 
Um, I still have the big expensive one, not in CC now. What should I do with it? Never used it. What you should do with it, Meredith, is get some transfers and use it. My goodness. It's also magnetic. So even if you put, um, you're talking about the big uh, um, gallery board, and they're magnetic, so you can get you a magnetic hook, put a wreath on it, a real wreath, and then just put the word welcome on it. And you can get, we have a new transfer with several different welcomes on it, the word welcome, and different fonts and different sizes if you don't already have a welcome. And hang it in your home. That's what you should do with it. It's easy peasy. Just because you're not a designer anymore doesn't mean you cannot still create. Right? All right. Let me pull this up. We got this one. This is the watering can I was talking about. It is called, uh, it's in the home growth collection. We had watering can. Um, this maybe two years ago. We're going to use the watering can. If you still have it. Awesome. But I'm going to do the watering can. We're going to do... This, I believe, is available. Cottontail Farms. This cute little bunny. He's going to be sitting right here. So we're going to be doing some reverse transferring, which means we're going to transfer our top layers first. What looks like our layer when you're looking at something. Uh, so the bunny would be in front of the watering can. So we actually chalk on the bunny first. And then we do the watering can around the bunny. And then same with the flowers. I'm going to put some flowers up here. I'm going to chalk the flowers first. So the flowers first and the bunny first. And then we will put the watering can and chalk the watering can around those things. And then the last thing we're going to put on will be, here's the flowers. I hang on my... Uh, big transfers on dry cleaning hangers in the closet here. So that's why I have it hanging. But this, this is the floral. This is retired. Uh, suddenly you became everything, but I know we have some beautiful florals in uh, our catalog now that are kind of similar to these. So you can use any florals. Especially in the like wedding love area, you'll find some really pretty flowers. Um, and then last, we're going to take this month's club couture, the same little birds here, those little birds, and we're going to set them up here on the handle of the watering can. So four transfers, all done in white. Hopefully it won't take long. So let's get started. We need an idea of where we're going to want our bunny to be and our flowers, especially the flowers. We don't want to mess those up. So somewhere in there. So I'm going to peel this off. And I'm kind of going by where the distance was here. So it's going to set in front of the watering can. Just want to decide if I want to lower this. I'm going to order. I don't think I'm going to put any words on. Something like that. And then the flowers need to be like right in here. So let's get those in position. guy out and we're going to chalk these in white and do everything in white today 
So just make sure your air pockets are out. And I chose transfers that are pretty much uh, fine detailed. Like the flowers are very fine detailed, the bunny has the detail, and the watering can. The only thing that's really gonna be not detailed are those two little birds in solid. Cause I kind of want them to pop out a little bit. And I don't think we have too many, well, we have one really fine bird on that um, lavender branch, kind of in a Paris theme. But I don't think we have too many other birds that are more detailed, like the flowers here. So the best next thing is to go with just solid, simple. And yeah, I'm not gonna do any words. If I layer this chalkboard with another chalkboard, say on my mantle, then that's where I'll put my sentiment, will be on the, the other board. You know, not everything has to have a sentiment, not everything has to have a bow and ribbon, um, you know, or tags on it, just make it simple. Okay, pick that up. Let's find the backer to, lay that on. I will take this to the sink later and wash that. And let's do our bunny. Then we will dry these layers here, or this first layer. And then we'll put our watering can on. of our extra chalk paste. So in the description of my live today, there's a link that has the Sylvie board on it, um, the white chalk paste. Need to get some. There's our bunny. Now I went off the bunny transfer just a little bit right there. No worries, we can just wipe that up. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now since it's not, if it was super close to this, I'd wait till it dried and then take it off. But since it's far away, I don't have to worry about brushing up against the wet chalk paste. I'm just gonna take it off now. All right, now let's dry these two and then we're gonna put that watering can on there, but we're only gonna chalk it up to the bunny and up to the flowers. So um, it won't, the watering can won't be on top of the bunny or the flowers. And you probably noticed I didn't fuzz my transfers if you know about fuzzing. That's because I've used these transfers many times and they're not overly sticky because I've used them a lot. If this is a brand new transfer, it's always a good idea to place that sticky side down on a towel a few times, lay it down, press it, lift it up, lay it back down. Get some fuzz on the back so it doesn't stick too hard to your board because if it does stick hard to your board and you pull it up, you could stretch out that silk screen fabric and that might misshape your transfer and then it wouldn't lay flat the next time you go to use it. So if it's super sticky or brand new, go ahead and, and apply a little fuzz to the back of it. So we're getting this nice and dried. I personally love these transfers that have the detail like this, like the very fine detail in the print. Those are my favorite. And majority of them don't have that any, not so much anymore. I feel like it's pretty simple, which is fine too, but I like these really fine ones. Now this is an older transfer and I have used it many times, but it does still feel pretty sticky. I mean, look at that. So I'm going to, I am going to put some fuzz on the back of it, just like what I was talking about. 
mainly because I'm putting it right on top of some other chalk paste, which could stick to the chalk paste and pull that up. So make sure it's not overly sticky. I'm trying to find my other towel. Um, I don't know what happened to it. Oh, it's in my drawers, just to the back. Okay, let's get these on here a few times. You can always tell how sticky it is by how well it sticks to your towel. You hear it? <laughs> it sounds like waves in an ocean or something. fuzz on the back. Now we're going to place this over on top of the flowers and the bunny about where we want it. And I'm just going to, let's see, maybe right in there. I'm trying to decide how high. I'm just going to chalk up to the flowers and up to the bunny. So then it looks like the um, watering can is behind the flowers or under the flowers and behind the bunny. And again, we're sticking with just white chalk paste today. So I'm going around the bunny's head and ears. I'm just going to skim it down, pick up our extra chalk paste. Otherwise, it's just going to go down the drain and no sense of wasting it. So pull it up, skim it up. How do you want to call it? Yeah, skim it. All right, let's see if we accomplished what I wanted to. Pretty sticky to that board. You can hear it stick. Lay it on the paper. Where's my? There it is. Okay. So now, as you can see, it looks like the flowers are on top of the watering can. The bunny is in front of the watering can. And if we had done the whole watering can first and laid the bunny on top, you would have seen the lines underneath the bunny's head. So you don't want to see, you don't want to see the lines <laughs> through the bunny's head because the bunny's in front of the watering can, right? So that's how you can avoid that is, I call it reverse transfer. So you do your top layers first, then your bottom layer. 
Okay, so let's dry that. I think I want to put the birds on. It's really just kind of pretty like it is. Um, yeah, I might just leave it. I'm kind of liking it the way it is. We also have a drying tool that you can use. Uh, I have it, but um, this one's hotter and faster and it works a lot quicker on my lives. But you could definitely uh, buy our drying tool and dry your chalk paste quicker. Otherwise, it can air dry. It just takes long, longer. That's kind of like a simple basic chalking 101. Um, one color, a few transfers. Uh, any questions? Can't think of any. Um, the birds, I was, I was think about the birds. I, I just kind of like it the way it is. And I think if they're up here, they might distract from the flowers a little bit. Um, mm, I don't know. And they're going to have to set like right here. I wish she was flipped the other way, like this way. But, I don't know. What do you think? Birds or no birds? Does anybody have a vote? Let me show you. You can't really see them. Slide it down so you can see it. Uh, can't see my comments. I think you're right. No birds. Right. I love that technique. I'm going to try it. Thanks, Gail. Which transfer are the flowers? The flowers is an old transfer from Suddenly You Became My Everything. This is the other half of the transfer. Like I said, it's an old one, but we have a lot of pretty flowers currently in our current catalog that can be used. I just don't buy them all because I have plenty, but there, that's where the birds would sit, right there. Um, yeah, I kind of think we could just do one. Maybe one wouldn't be so bad. He'd be a little Jenny Wren because he's really little. Birds in another color. I don't. I'm. I'm trying to keep this all black and white. I want to show that you can do a beautiful design in one color. I like it without the birds. I do too. I really do. No birds. No birds. Let me see what else we got. Birds on the spout, yep. And maybe just one. I kind of wished, like I said, I wished he was turned the other way. But if I did maybe one there, and then he's gonna be solid. I think if he was more detailed, like the rabbit, it would look really pretty like it was meant to be. But being solid, I think, I don't know. I'm gonna chalk one away from the watering can, like up here, and we can get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And then I can always wipe it off. So I'm gonna kinda of do it off of the handle just to get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And then I can wipe it off easy because it's not gonna be connected to the handle, okay? If I don't like it. And if I do like it, I'll still wash them off and put them on top of the handle. I think he kind of shows up too much. He's like, bam, bird. <laughs> I think he's, 
What do you think? He really is bright compared to the other items. Let's see what everybody says. There's no other birds on the branches and gathers, nor sure. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying to think of birds that um, are small enough, that are detailed, like the rabbit is in the flowers, like very fine detail in them versus just solid. I know like Bless Our Nest has some birds, but they're solid. Um, I'm th some people love the birds, some people, there's no other bird. There's a bird on a lilac branch in the Paris themes. Um, I think he'd be too big for this. It's the only one I can think of. I, I can't think of any others that I would have anyway. So if we like the bird, I can wash him off and bring him a little bit closer, but I kind of think he like, like your eye goes right to him because he's solid. And I don't know if I like that idea. I think I like it. Um, I like the more fine print of everything else. It's kind of like he was an afterthought. Some people like the bird. Mm. Decisions, decisions. Well, that's the great thing about Chalk Tours. You get to design your own designs and intermix your transfers and play around with it. So I don't like that bird, I can just wash him off. I put him far enough away from the handle that I can just wash him away. And even if he was on the handle, I could still wash it off, put my um, watering can transfer back on, match it all up, and trace that handle again if I didn't, if I stuck him right on the handle and I decided I didn't like him. So that's what's cool about wor working with our chalk paste and reusing our transfers, right? So, all kinds of ideas. Put a black dot for the eye. There's an idea. No bird, I guess that's the next detail item they can make. Exactly. I love all the detailed stuff, so I wish they did more of it. But, yeah. He's cute. I just, I, I don't know. Do you feel like your eye goes right to the bird? When he's solid like that? I don't know. I do think one is enough versus the two. But uh, yeah, if he was just, if he just had the detailing, he would be like he was meant to be. But I don't know guys. I'll show you how easy it is to wash it off. So same like with any mistake. Um, first of all, if you are working, if your bird was touching your handle and you're gonna try to get it off without having to retransfer anything, um, make sure your handle is dry and then wipe your bird off. Um, mine has about a half inch, three, a quarter, a uh, little less than half an inch separation. So I should be able to just wipe them off easily. So I'm gonna take a wet wipe and just start wiping them off like that. So I kinda wanna give you an idea of how you can do that, how easy it is. If you've never worked with Chalk Couture chalk paste, you can see how easy he came off. And then once this dried, you would never know he was there. If I can get all my chalk paste off. Okay, so that's how easy he came off. Oops, I got a, my squeegee stuck on the board. There, so there he is without. Now it's like I almost miss him. I get this side. Doesn't matter. I could put birds on another board with a saying, like it, even if I did uh, another spring quote or summer quote and another board, and like lay that right in, layer it right in front here, and you can have a, a kind of a collage of boards on your mantle or even hanging on a wall. Uh, yeah, it's kind of fun just doing black and white. Keeping it simple. So there you go, guys. Thanks for chalking with me today. And uh, yesterday I did those silver trays again. Um, I bought them. I didn't ask where I got them. I got them from a wholesale company I order from for the store that I am in co-op with for um, 
home decor. So that's where I got them. But they're just uh, pretty, um, just basic metal trays. I think if even if you found some galvanized, uh, uh, galvanized ones, you could probably even spray paint them with a copper paint uh, if you really want that copper look. Um, and then I just hand painted the inside of those two with my Fusion Mineral paint, which you could probably use any paint for that too. So that's the trays. I already sold the little uh, rooster one. I'll be sending that off to Vicki today. Thank you, Vicki. And um, we'll get that shipped. So, all right, any other questions? You missed the bird now too? I know, right? I'm gonna go through my transfers just to make sure I'm not forgetting a little bird anywhere. I just don't think we have a detailed one. Although he was fine. I might just put him back on there. He was kind of cute sitting on the handle. You see a lot of photographs or artwork done in like garden flags and things like that. Back when I had my store, I saw all kinds of artwork, um, especially like for garden flags that had the watering can, flowers. There was always a bird, you know, and so I might need to stick that bird back on there because I think he kind of looks cute. I don't know if I heard the question right, but I did love the bird. I think I like the bird too. Should I put him back on there? Should I? Where did he go? Right here. All right, I'll put him back on and I'll set him on the handle this time. Okay, I'm gonna set him on the handle. All right, here he goes. I don't can't see it. I'll pull him up. Give a big voila. There. He's back. He's back. Perching on the handle. He look, it does look cute. Kind of gives you a trifecta look. I mean, you focus flowers, bunny, bird, you know, like how your eye bounces around. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. He's staying on. I kind of missed him when he was gone. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for talking with me. Y'all have a great day. And hopefully, um, I may, I'm sure I'll be on sometime more this week. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or not. I need to go shopping for clothes for the convention that we're going to and who's all going to the Chaka Tour convention in um, June. So I kind of want to go shopping, but I was kind of waiting till it warmed up a bit. We did not end up with snow. I know some of you do have snow, but we did not end up with any sticking to the ground. So that's great. All right, guys, I will talk with you later. Have a great day. Bye.